Hey guys, Fishing Bricks 20. I have a uh, quick update today. So uh, yeah, as you can see, here's my Midas Blenny, who's apparently not wanting to be seen, but there he is. Um, the tank looks a lot different, as you can tell. I have added a ton of new rock. Got a couple, or one new fish, and a few other new additions. Here's the Onyx Clowns anemone with the female. She still won't let the male Onyx into her anemone, but the anemone's opened up nicely. Eats, does everything. So, there's my yellow tang who's doing great. And the Midas is still doing great. MP10 doing great. Uh, sail fins doing good. So, my new addition are these, uh, this zoanthid, right? Hold on, where's the best? There it is. He's not open all the way, but he was. I had to move him. He kind of fell. So, it's this zoanthid. It's red and green polyps mixed together. And then I got those guys up there, which I just cannot remember the name of. Uh, I think it's like clove polyp or something. It's it's a um, kind of like pulsing zinnia, but not as fast growing and not pulsing. And it's got orange tit orange uh, stripes on each little feathery tentacle and a lime green center. And goby is still doing great. So those are my those guys. And then right here we have my new emerald crab who has been chomping away at algae like crazy. So yeah, as you can see, he looks awesome. And then my new fish. The, a new wrasse I've added. See if he'll come back through here. He's on the other side. Oh, there he is. Melanoris. He's pretty awesome. Where'd he go now? In there somewhere. Um, Cleaner Shrimp's still doing goodies in there. Oh, there's another one. Got, gotta constantly chase this guy. Darn it. Of course, the moment I have the camera out, he tries to run from me everywhere I go. I always follow him. Darn it. Alright, here he comes. Wait for him to get comfortable. Isn't he awesome? He acclimates real well. I put him in and he um, instantly buried down into the sand right there. And I didn't see him the rest of the day. And then I turned off the light this morning. I turned on the light, waited about six minutes, was sitting here, and I was like, I guess he's not going to come out. And then he just goes, whoop, and comes right out and starts swimming around. So I thought he was, like, dead or something. I was like, oh. He looks really awesome. He ate already a ton. I just fed him, actually. That's why it might be a little dirty. Having another kind of bloom. Uh, I'll get to that rock in a minute. Having another kind of bloom, see red algae bloom, I'm thinking, I don't know what that is, I'm kind of thinking it's the phosphate, I might change my GFO in my reactor, because my phosphate level was like 0.75 pretty much, like up there pretty high, so it might have taken it down as much as it could, so I might have to put in some new GFO, as I said, Gobi's doing okay. So the new rock is just some live rock from a friend I got, um... It's pretty great. I got some of these. I don't remember the name of the mushrooms, but I have like quite a few of them. Two of the, that's the big one. And then you can see that's the other big one. And there's one underneath it, but I don't think he's going to continue growing. He's right there, that dark spot. Because, um, you know, he's under on the underside. So this is going to be my mushroom rock. And this is not the final aquascape. Definitely going to change it up. Definitely. So... That's uh, not the final. The mushroom rock will have recordias and stuff on it. 
And then these I got from a friend at church that came up and asked me, uh, said she had seen that I had a, uh, aquarium on Facebook, so she, uh, brought me all this stuff she was trying to get rid of. It's some old barnacle holes, this dead coral skeleton, uh, that, you know, big coral skeleton, and this big old, uh, it didn't really fit up there with the way I had it, so it's this big old sponge coral. Not sponge coral, but sponge skeleton. And it has a ton of little holes all over it. So I put it down here, maybe for pods to hide in. You know, just have some rock down here. And then, you know, I moved. I made this little archway for my zoas. All my zoas are going to be on there. And then that rock has a ton of nice coralline. A couple Octasias, my dad. There's one right there. So I'll kill that off. And that's a nice rock. So then this side will actually be piled up against the overflow. And it'll be, this will be the cave right here, and it'll be piled up like that. Thinking of putting in a rock wall on that side with a hole for an MP10 in it. Just thoughts. So that's my big update for this, for today. I don't know what, my birthday's coming up, so probably a lot more updates coming in the future. I'm probably done for fish for a little until I can get my water. Oh yeah, here, I'll show you this really quick before I go. If I can find it, here it is. My water is okay. Salinity, 26, zero ammonia, zero nitrite. Nitrate, less than five. pH, 8.0, DKH, eight. Phosphate, 0.25, calcium, 400. So phosphate is just still a little bit up there. The algae has been going away. And the tangs have been eating it. So, um... I'll probably change that GFO by the end of the weekend and also add some carbon. So, um, I'll see you guys next update. Comment, rate, subscribe, Fishing Bricks 20.